Good morning class. Welcome to grade 3 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So we have seen different cases of division in our previous classes. Today let's learn how we can divide a number by 10. So it's division by 10. Let's look at one question here. Divide 93 by 10. So our dividend is the number 93 and we have the divisor 10. How do we do with this division? 93 divided by 10. So how many tens will go in 93? Since we are dividing with a two digit number, let's consider the first two digits of the dividend, which is 93. And what is 93 by 10? Let's recite the table of 10. 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20, 10 threes are 30, 10 fours are 40, 10 fives are 50, 10 six are 60, 10 sevens are 70, 10 eights are 80, 10 nines are 90, but 10 tens are 100. So 10 nines are 90, that is enough. So let's write that 9 over here. 10 nines are 90. Then subtract the numbers and we get 93 minus 90 is equal to 3. Is there any more digits to bring down? No. So let's start the division right there. So what is the quotient? The quotient is 9 and the remainder is 3. So let's look at the question once again. Our question was 93 divided by 10 and when we did the division we got the remainder as the ones digit and the quotient was the digits which were remaining to the left of this ones digit. So this was the quotient. In this case the ones digit is 3 and the digits to the left of the ones digit that was 9 which is the quotient. So I hope this is clear to you. Now let's look one more question. Divide 814 by 10. So let's do the division 814 by 10. A two digit divisor, the first two digits of the dividend is 81. So how many tens will go in 81? From the table of 10, we know 10 eights are 80. So let's write that 8 here. 10 eights are 80. Do the subtraction and we get 1 here. Bringing the next digit here gives us 14. Now let's do 14 divided by 10. And how many tens will go in 14? 10 ones are 10 but 10 twos are 20. So 10 ones are 10. That is enough. So write that 1 here. So 8, 10 ones are 10. Do the subtraction and we get 14 minus 10 is equal to 4 here. No more digits to bring down. Let's stop the division right there. So what is the quotient? The quotient is 81 and the remainder is 4. Let's look at the numbers once again. Our question was 814 divided by 10. And after the division, we got the remainder which was the one digit of the dividend. And the quotient was the digits which were remaining to the left of the one digit. So our quotient was 81 which were the digits that were remaining to the left of the ones digit. So in general, we can say when we are dividing a number by 10, whenever we divide a number by 10, the remainder equals the ones digit of the dividend and the quotient equals the remaining digits of the dividend. Is that clear to you? Now we'll do one activity. Please open your textbook and in page number 78, you can see the exercise, exercise 5.10. Now, there are a few questions given there. So as an activity now, you have to complete the first four questions, questions A to D in your textbook. You can pause the video, finish this activity and come back. Hope you are done with that activity. Now let's see the questions. So the first question is, you have the division fact even here, 153 divided by 10. And you have to fill in the blanks in the following columns. So it's division by 10. So what could be the remainder and the quotient? The remainder will be the ones digit of the dividend. So which is the ones digit of the dividend here? That is equal to 3. And the quotient is the digits remaining to the left of the ones digit. And that is equal to 15. So 
the quotient here is 15 and the remainder is equal to 3. The next question, question B, dash divided by 10 and it gives the quotient 50 and the remainder is 4. So from what we learned about division by 10, we can write the dividend easily given the quotient and the remainder. We know the remainder is the one digit of the dividend and the quotient is the remaining digits to the left of the remainder. So how can we write the dividend? The dividend will be 504 which is equal to 504. Clear? Now question C. 789 divided by 10 and we have a remainder given there. From the question, we can easily write the remainder as 9 and the quotient will be the digits to the left of the ones digit which is the number 78. So let's write the quotient 78 here. Now question D. 2923 divided by 10 and what is the quotient and the remainder? The remainder will be the ones digit so which is equal to the number 3 and the quotient will be the digits remaining to the left of the remainder and that is 292. So let's try 292 here. Hope you are clear with the questions. There are 6 more questions with the same exercise. So you can do this as an activity. So before that you have to go through the topic division by 10 once again from your textbook and that is in page number 78. Then you have to complete the questions 1E to 1J from the exercise, exercise 5 or 10. And in the next page, which is in page number 79, you can see the exercise called HOTS. And there are two questions given there. Can you please look into your textbook? Question number 1. In a farm, there were some hens and rabbits. Maria saw 140 legs. How many hens and rabbits did she see? Explain if you have more than one solution. You are given that there is this farm and then in this farm there are hens and rabbits and there is a total of 140 legs for all these animals. So there is this 140 legs altogether. You are asked to find out how many hens and rabbits were there in the farm. So, how would you solve this one? So, for a rabbit, how many legs are there? For a rabbit, there are four legs. And for a hen, a hen has how many legs? A hen has two legs. We don't know the total number of rabbits and hens. But all together, there are 140 legs. So, how do you solve this question? So let's suppose we are considering one rabbit and the remaining are hens. So what is the case of one rabbit? One rabbit has four legs. So if we take one rabbit, there will be four legs. And how many legs will be remaining? Out of this 140 legs, if four legs are from one rabbit, there would be 136 legs remaining and that would belong to the hens. Right? But we don't know the number of hens or the rabbit either. But we are considering there is one rabbit and the remaining are hens. So from this 136 number of legs, how would we find out the number of hens? So for one hen, there would be two legs. So if there are 136 hen legs, the number of hens will be 136 divided by 2, which is the number of legs for one hen. Right? So 136 divided by 2, 6, 2, 6 are 12, that would be 1 here, now 8, 16, subtracting, we get 0. There would be 68 hens. So if it is 1 rabbit, there would be 68 hens. And what if there are 2 rabbits? If there are 2 rabbits, there would be a total of 8 rabbit legs and how many hen legs will be remaining there would be 132 hen legs and how many hens will be there there would be two rabbits there would be 66 hens 
How did we get that? This is 132 divided by 2. So similarly, we can find different combinations or you can have different solutions for this question. We try to find out more solutions on your own. And in the second question, it is given in a factory, Anub counted 60 bicycles and tricycles in total. The total number of wheels were 130. How many bicycles and tricycles were there? So what is given in that question? There is this factory and in the factory, they make bicycles and tricycles. Altogether, the bicycles and tricycles together, there are 60 numbers. But we don't know what is the number of bicycles and tricycles separately. But we are given the total number of wheels and total number of wheels is equal to 130. So what is the number of wheels for one bicycle? A bicycle has two wheels, whereas in a tricycle has three wheels. So from the data given in the question, you think of it, you try to solve this question. There would be only one solution for this question. You have to find out the number of bicycles and tricycles. Think of it, think it over, you try it and try to solve the question. So once you're done with these questions, you can write the answers in your notebook, take a picture and send us through teams. So that's all for today children. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.